They are using this medium to call on the FCT minister to end his ethnic pursuit in the FCT, in the FCT ministry. Nigerians, the Northerners have remembered Wike and Tinubu. This time, they are dragging Tinubu over what Wike is doing in Abuja. Their complaint is that Wike is bringing the River State politicians and offering them juicy positions in the FCT while the citizens and other Northerners are not considered for those positions. So they are here to express their anger. Anyway, let me allow you to take a look at this snippet. So, the attempt to flood the FCT with politicians from River State need to argue better for the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself. The Northerners are not happy with this Tinubu's government. Anyway, before I allow you to watch this video in full, this is the Minister for Power who has been trending on Twitter. Do you know why he's trending? I'm going to allow you to watch the video where he said he's going to increase the prices for power. He's going to hike the price from Nepal for power because Nigerians leave their freezers on while going to work. They don't off all their gadgets. I'm going to allow you take a look at how angrily this man is reacting in front of cameras on a national television. Nigerians, this is worrisome, the kind of people we have in this government. Honestly, it is a milocon. Tinubu is appointing people without considering if they are qualified or not, provided it is his people, the people who belongs to him, the emilocons. Take a look at the reaction, the bitter reactions that is causing a whole lot of, you know, controversy on the social media. Look at how this man spoke in front of the camera. Take a look at this. Bitter truth that we also need to tell ourselves as Nigerians. We are all Nigerians. A few people are only privileged to sit on the high table there. We are on the same level. We must be able to talk the truth to ourselves. We don't have the culture of consumption management in this country in terms of power just because of the cheapness of the tariff we pay in power. A lot of people come back from work, they want to have dinner, or they want to play with their colleagues down the road. They sit on the AC for the to, to be cooling before they come back. Yes. Some people will be going to work in the morning. A freezer has been left on for days. They will still leave it on. When all the items in the freezer are already frozen, and five, six, eight hours of their absence will not get into the freeze, they will still leave it to continue power. Just because we are not paying enough. We've all been overseas before. We know how conscious the power consumers are, are to consumption of electricity. Nigerians, you have seen it for yourself, the reaction of the so-called Minister for Power. Anyway, back to the topic of Wike and the Northerners in the FCT. Let me allow you to watch the full video of Wike and the Northerners who have come out to drag the FCT minister saying that he's giving juicy positions to his uh, politicians from, the, from River State and abandoning those of them who are northerners even the citizens of you know of the fct are not being carried along they are using this medium to call on the fct minister to end his ethnic pursuit in the fct in the fct ministry it is expected that upon as resumption of office he should acquainted himself with the with the mandate of the fct ministry to guide him in his conduct. The mandate of the FCT administration is to build and administer a federal capital territory in compliance with the, minister, with the master plan by the establishment and effective ensuring service-oriented administration that can respond to the needs of all residents and other stakeholders. The mandate of the FCT is clear. It is not for the interest of any particular ethnicity or religion. This much, the FCT minister must come to terms with moving forward this 
the FCT is not River State, and the attempt to undermine the federal capital principle is in poor taste. The Reform Arewa Youth Coalition believes that in the spirit of unity and inclusiveness, the FCT minister must act right at all times in fulfillment of mandate of the FCT administrations. He has turned the FCT into an extension of River State, deliberately ignoring the federal capital principle. By all indication, the FCT minister elected to forget that the FCT is the center of unity and as such the principle the principle of inclusion must stand supreme above every other interest the choice of appointment made so far by the FCT minister is an affront to the center of unity status of the FCT by a large the FCT has been turned into an extension of River State. There is an urgent need. The choice of appointment made so far by the FCT minister is an affront to the center of unity status of the FCT. By a large, the FCT has been turned into extension of River State. There is an urgent need for the FCT minister to retrace his steps as the risk of polarizing the federal capital territory along ethnic and religious lines, which can potentially rupture the fragile peace in the FCT and its environment. The FCT minister must realize that he is the minister of the federal capital territory and not the minister for River State. So, the attempt to flood the FCT with politicians from River State need to argue better for the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. The Reform Arewa Youth Coalition wishes to advise the FCT minister to see his appointment as an act of as an act of magnanimity by the president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, because he is a member of the opposition People Democratic Party. So guys, you have seen it for yourself, honestly. These people do not even know that, you know, leadership comes with a whole lot of responsibility. And when you fail to give that responsibility or to show that really you are capable, People call that your positioning of that position into question. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself. Wike is not doing his work as the minister for the FCT because he does not even understand that the FCT is meant for everybody, not you transporting the people who have never lived in Abuja, who do not know the in and out of Abuja, who does not understand the terrain of Abuja, who does not even know anything that has to do with, the, with Abuja, and you want to give them position, how do you expect them to perform? They are trying to plant their people in Abuja because of 2027. Nigerians, that is just what they are trying to do. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.